Moshi Moshi Mime Gamers and welcome back to Honkai Stardew Vale. Following Face Shadow's advice, Ava abandons the large scale heart and begins to speak about the praise motivated engine instead. As for Sage Navalia, the site where the world's worst first spot it shall become the hunting ground for the continuous pursuit on the Borson. Today, I continue doing the continuous story quests. You don't see me, right? No, not there. Someone's there. This is where we ran into the Borison last time. It looks again. the same as usual, because I blocked all the relevant news to make it seem as if nothing had happened. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Will the Borson notice something? Losing contact with their accomplices preparing the Star Skiff will surely put them on guard. However, the more well-prepared a plan is, the longer it takes to adjust when it's disrupted. If any Borson wants to stick to the original plan despite the risks, They'll surely come back to Stargazer oh, Novalia so to check shit. the situation. Are you suggesting that there are Boris in here at Stargazer Novalia right now? Ooh, this is an automated area. So don't you think that there are a bit too here, many people up. here today? First, look at those two Skyfaring Commission staff members. They've been observing us in secret since we arrived here. Then there's a Cloud Knight soldier over there. Perhaps he's here for patrol. But each patrol team must consist of two members. And obviously, he is not following the rules. The Lastly, oh gosh, there's that so craftsman wearing Artisanship Commission clothing. He's unusually focused on checking that device. If you have a target in mind, let's go investigate. Yeah, like tuck them down. Yeah, fuck off, I'm gone. Hmm, okay. Question just a suspicious person. What? Let's start with you. Two of you. Who are you? Don't you know that Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now? Hey, chill out. They're just a few lost tourists. You know who I am. Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now. But Stargazer Navalia is the shipbuilding port of the CNJ Lafu. If the Skyfaring Commission called for a lockdown, there should be official documents proving it, right? Official documents? <laughs> of course there are. The Cloud Knights are aware that some people have infiltrated this port. That makes perfect sense. So you're now investigating the Borison? Yeah. Well, we've received orders from the higher-ups, so we've locked off this area to prevent any interference with our inspection. Thank you for your understanding. Hmm... Can I even trust you? <laughs> I think I'm angry. Anyways, um, let's talk to you next. Hey, you there! Please refrain from wandering around Stargazer Navalia if you're not. Oh, it's you, Lieutenant Yenching. Hmm. Aren't you running around here as well? I'm an official staff member assigned to investigate a peculiar issue. Oh, really? A peculiar issue? Yeah. We've had some unscheduled star skiffs being constructed at this dock in Stargazer Navalia. Could there have been an error in the production planning for the assembly line? This is just weird. I thought all the pending star skips from before the war dance had been scheduled already. I'm sorry, but I need to focus on my work right now. If you have any questions, we can discuss them later. Mm, maybe we can trust this guy. Anyways, next one. Hey, turn around. <sighs> oh, uh, Lieutenant Yanxing and uh, General Fischel. You're aware of the Boris in prison break, right? Yeah, I've received the news, and I'll be on the alert. Looks like you've been keeping an eye on the Sky Splitter. Have you noticed anything unusual? No. Everything is normal on the ship. Nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. Question his location. This is not a location for a Cloud Knight on guard duty, is it? I like how I speak. Well, this spot offers a great view. Are you here to keep an eye on the Sky Splitter? Yes. Hmm. Ask about the Sky Splitter. You've been observing the Sky Splitter for a while. Have you noticed anything? Honestly, just watching the ship from here isn't too thrilling. I wish I could go on board and witness Lieutenant Yen Ching's contest. Speaking of which, Lieutenant Yen Ching, aren't you supposed to be on the Sky Splitter? Is it all right for you to be here instead? Thank you for your concern, but I have more pressing matters to attend to. End <sighs> the questions. So, so, it seems that some Borison have returned to Stargazer Navalia in disguise. The answer seems quite obvious. Hmm. Let's see. The crash, the craftsmanship from the Arbusha Commission. I think he's genuinely here to investigate the Star Skiffs, as he claimed. In my opinion, 
the staff members from the Skyfaring Commission are the most suspicious. I wasn't sure, honestly. Remember when I mentioned that the Cloud Knights what? blocked all relevant news to make it seem as if nothing happened? Stargazer Navalia is not under lockdown. But on the contrary, those staff members use Stargazer Navalia as on lockdown as an excuse to persuade us to leave. This oh, contradicts yeah, those the two Cloud were, Knights plans. obviously. Their flimsy disguise has been exposed. Even if they try to hide, there's no way they can escape us. Like, hey, you two! Yeah, I knew where to be. Like, Boom! Got my sword okay. slice your tail off. Like, ah! Why are you still here? As I said, Stargazer Navalia is on lockdown now. No. I never issued such an order. Who are you? Perhaps you haven't met me on the battlefield, but I am certain you've heard my name. Now, I'm asking you a question, so answer me. Tell me, how many more of your comrades are here? Where were you planning to meet Hule? This woman. She's the general of the Yao Xing. What are you still waiting for? Attack her! Too bad. Ah, I should have picked them. I was gonna take a straight. Oh my god, this is bad. No way! By the way, people, I'm cutting this out from the most bad list of voice lines, so yeah. You're about to go bye bye, motherfucker! Oh, and you're still standing, apparently. Hold up, one moment, one moment. This is Initiate cleanup. Step on you. Okay, it's... what's up with the left one? Tell Lord Mock talk about this. Oh, ho, ho, ho! You built the one, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna die for now on, guys. Cause most of the time, there's not a lot of voice lines about this. You just nod your head at us. <laughs> Why don't you kill me? I'm gonna make you my dog so I can step on you. Because I need answers. <laughs> you were our war slave. So you should know us descendants of Duran. You want me to talk? <laughs> Fine. Try whatever you want. But I assure you. You won't get anything from me. Only fangs and blood. <laughs> if I were to do that, I wouldn't be any different from you. I am the arrow that pierces the wolf's heart. I grant you a swift death. <laughs> That's exactly what I desire. Wolves that leave the pack. Are prepared for the fate of never returning home. But sadly, you didn't catch my partner. He will alert them. Before you close your eyes, you should know that I allowed him to escape. Because he will lead the Cloud Knights to Hule's hideout. Fuck. <laughs> What'd she do? Step on him so hard with our heels? Leave one side open? I mean, I would like you let myself. that Boris <laughs> escape so you could track him? This is the most common hunting tactic used by Borison. I know the methods of these abominations all too well. They always leave an escape route for their prey, allowing them to flee in fear. Then they chase them like it's a game. Borison get great satisfaction from the last struggles of their victims. Have you witnessed these things firsthand? That guy called you a war slave. What exactly have you experienced? Well, just a hazy past that I can barely recollect. Long ago, I was one of them. But you're sexy Foxian, right? Not all Foxians like, are lucky enough to be born me, on a Sanjo ship. A sexy Foxian? Yeah, I did. I grew up in one of the worlds where Boris and Realm, known as the Fallen Territories by the people of the Yao Ching, to the Wolf Masters, Foxians are nothing but property. Cannon fodder used to slow down the Sanjo attacks on the battlefield. But you survived. And not only that, you became the general of the Yao Ching. If I get the chance, 
I'd love to hear stories of your past, General. Speaking of stories, you've reminded me that now is not the time for them. Mwaza, we've sent the warning from Stargazer Navalia. What's the situation on your end? I've found them. Zhao Cho is trying to stall Hule, and he signaled me to not reveal myself. Trust his judgment and keep watching. We'll be right there. I believe the warning we sent will stop Hule from attacking Stargazer Navalia. What will he do next? The hunt is not over yet. Stay safe, Zhao Cho. Yeah, stay safe, buddy. One to hour before the warden's co uh, conferences. A letting. Please save me. <laughs> I want to live, Doctor. Xiao Xiao, find a medical ingenium and give that kid a shot. Hurry. Like given a cup. I see. How is the front line? Hey, look at him. The Boris and Beast doctor. ships have already landed on the Feng Hu. It won't be long before this place is overrun as well. What about General Yueyu? Any news from her? I'm her healer. I should stay by her side at a time like this. She asked me to tell you that she's not coming back. She must protect the Cloud Pier Telescope. General asks you to, to save that kid. The girl fought desperately just to bring us all back here alive. I've never seen such a brutal fighting style. Her body... It's like she was split open. Just like... Oh, her blood pressure is dropping. Do you hear me, Xiao Xiao? Loud and clear. Get me some tumble dust. We've got to start the operation right now. I... Take I it. will bring her no, back. Is that why you're so determined to learn my secrets? Do you hear me, Zhao Cho? I do. Loud and clear. Like my fox ears can hear you. So she saved you all in that great battle on the Xiangzhou Feng Hu three decades ago. But to your surprise, you discovered her boars in bloodline while she was at death's door. Moktok told me that she was a war slave who escaped from the Eclipse Pack. Oh, what a twist of fate. Turns out, she's from the same clan as I am. Now I understand. No wonder she displayed such astounding power. Determination and cruelty in battle. Turns out it's all because of her boars and bloodline. Mutt. Despicable Mutt. <laughs> and she used the gift of her bloodline to destroy the Borison. Moon Rage. A blessing for wolves. And a curse for foxes. For Borison, to have their bodies torn apart by moon rage and transform into a beast oh, is the ultimate joy. But for you Foxians with poor regenerative abilities, it means certain death. Oh, with the burning fury in her heart, that Foxian general will eventually lose her sanity and indulge in endless bloodshed. The scars on her body will not be caused by enemy weapons, but by the immense power she can't withstand. One day, she will be torn apart and die as a monster, and in return for saving her life. You intend to give everything to solve this impossible puzzle. Hule. Do you know the saddest thing about being a healer? All this time, I've devoted my life to bringing back those who sacrificed their lives to monsters like you. I exhausted myself, and my hands trembled. But I believed everything I did was meaningful. But once again, they rushed into battle. And then I heard of their deaths. They died under your claws. 
in your jaws. Amidst the flames of crashing star skiffs. And under the Lux arrow of rainbow. Like a useless idiot. I saved a fish named Life. Out of the cauldron called Death. Only to watch it struggle. Dive back into the boiling broth. So I asked myself... Why were they so eager to run toward their death? What? After they had recovered from their wounds. Holy shit. Why wouldn't they value their hard-won life? All the doubts left me feeling lost. <laughs> I can smell your desperation. All the way down to your bone marrow. Eventually, I realized that their deaths held value. They placed the weight of their sacrifice on the living, granting us strength. With a coin forged by their deaths, they exchanged something more in return. Everything I'm doing now, following you so closely, is just for one reason. Witnessing your death with my own two eyes. Even your death has value. It will pave the way for a peaceful war dance and a fully cured Feishao. Hmm. The thoughts in your pathetic head are hardly surprising. Did you already know this? Yes, I did. As Borison. We understand the value of death more than anyone. And as a healer who has witnessed so much death, you won't be swayed by fear. Mm, what a shame, what a shame. Your story actually sparked a trace of respect for you in my heart. Can you even feel respect? With your corrupted heart? Hmm, of course because I caught a whiff of my own kind in you. Unfortunately, in the end, you're still just a weak fox, as the wolf's creed goes. Gift the wolf a dead end, where new paths arise. Raise him to a doomed fate, where satiation lies. The cowards in forgotten corners meet their unworthy demise, yet the valorous and brutal battles embrace their eternal prize. That's why I'm keeping you alive for now. I want to show you how Burison truly respect their enemies. Really? We will consume your flesh and blood, nourishing our own. We will crush your hopes and dreams, clearing a path for a hunt. Your feeble souls will witness a new future. A future that belongs to me. My lord, we received a message. Our arrangement at Stargazer Navalia has been discovered. We must act quickly. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. <clears throat> Mock talk. What's that noise? It's the Sky Splitter! The ship that the war dance will be held on is about to set off! The Sky Faring Commission will clear the air routes! And if our star skiffs try to escape, we'll be spotted! Calm down, Mock Talk. Look at you now, hiding and fearful. Where is your Boris and dignity? As I said, I'd sacrifice my dignity for your return. As long as you can come back to the Boris and Pax, there's still hope. Hope? The Borison have forgotten the Wolf's creed. Weak creatures put their hope in the strong, but the strong fight their way out. Bringing me back instead of choosing a new master only proves the decline of our pack. And as for the prophet who manipulated you into saving me, She's just a liar, trying to use Duran's offspring. <sighs> Mock talk. 
Let me tell you how the Burisen will rise to power. We won't hide like rats in the streets of the Xiangzhou. We will be ravenous wolves, walking amongst a herd of lambs with our fangs bared. What great warhead! Our packs are not here! We can't go to war like this! Our packs are not here. Wherever I go, everyone is the pack. What? <laughs> Stay away! Just don't come any closer! No! Oh fuck! What is what is he's biting people? And he's making them as this is like zombies. What the fuck? Like uh, what's it called again? Walking Dead. Yeah, Walking Dead. Mock talk. We're the apex predators at the top of the hierarchy. As wolves, we create fear. We don't become servants to it. If you're blind to the path, I will be the crimson moon that lights the way for you. You're next. Are you buying me? Share my crimson blood with our brethren. Use it to infect those Foxians and strike fear into their hearts. Now, you devious monkey, come out and face me. Oh, don't say he knows already. Yep. Ciao, ciao. He's like, hey, hey, friend. Like, best friend. Who says I was your best friend? Run! I'm not a pussy boy. No, he can't run, and neither can you. <laughs> You've come at the right time, monkey of the Yao Qing. Tell your general, tell her that I will unleash a massacre here, drowning the Xian Zhou La Fu in blood. From this moment on, wolves bearing my blood will hunt on every street, feasting on the followers of that devilish archer. Follow me, my cops. We shall stride among the prey. Give the wolf today a new pass arrives. Raise him to a doom fate where satiation lies. The cowards in forgotten corners meet their unworthy demise. Yet the valorous in brutal battles embrace their eternal prize. Yeah. Oh, do you hear that? The rumble of the cannons. Oh. Brings back all the memories of past battles within me. My return will bring back the wolf's creed. In my own way, I shall save our weakened pack and restore it to its former glory. Oh no no no! The war is about to commence. Sky Spinner, March! Aren't you always supposed to deal with that monster oh. first? Oh, the Sky Splitter's gun salute is really loud. So this is what the war dance is actually like? I feel like my eardrums are going to burst. Well, how could they expect to attract people to come and watch if they didn't make a huge spectacle? <laughs> March, you haven't forgotten what you came to do, have you? I'm here to be the women of your mercy, Yakchi! As a representative of the Sienjo Lafu, I will defeat all challengers! That's the spirit. Sounds like you're That's all That's why! If you could just keep your legs from shaking so much, it would be more convincing, March. As the saying goes, the disciple takes the toil of their master. Remember, you are here under the identity of a Lafu swordmaster. Taking the place of your no good master Yenqing as the ringmaster. But what am I supposed to do if my opponent for this round is super talented and just wipes the floor with me in seconds? I'm still a beginner in swordplay. I don't know where I got the confidence when I agreed to help General Huayan. Come on, there's no need to worry about that. If you are defeated, then your opponent shall have to answer to me. Although, if that happens, the honor and the glory of the Sienjo Lafu shall all be taken by the Jooming. 
<laughs> uh, Master Yun Lee, please, I'm about to compete. Can you say something that will give me a little confidence? Marge, think about the great storms that you, nameless of the Express, have weathered along your many journeys. There's no doubt that you have faced far more terrifying enemies than your opponents here today, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you feel a lot more relaxed looking at it that way? Uh, uh job power? Why the fuck would you say that? Let's get going then! I've trained hard in the art of swordplay over these few days. It's time for me to get in the ring and prove myself. Let's go! Look, like everyone Master loves you! Lee, I don't think I'm completely ready. March? There is no such thing as completely ready. Anyways, acknowledge me, people! Acknowledge me with your ones up! March! Who's off? Miss Yun Lee! Miss March! This way, please. I was about to say something else, but I got caught off by you, never mind. Hi! I was informed of your arrival by Madame Yukong and came to greet you personally. The news that you will be the ringmaster in place of Lieutenant Yan Ching has been made public, <laughs> Miss March. Just now, as I passed the contestants' hall, I overheard them all discussing this news. The most common question I heard was, Who is March 7th? If they ask you this, how will you introduce yourself? Do you have something prepared? Uh, does I have no one to ask me? <laughs> Am I going to say that? I don't think that's a good idea. Um, the incredible my son. Why I say it twice? My seven young beauty of. Yeah, that sounds good. March seventh, young beauty of Astral Express. March seventh, a young beauty from the Astral Express. You look so disappointed. All right. When people ask you, you might as well tell them this loud and clear. <laughs> I see you are both quite relaxed. Impressive! Given the imminent danger you face. Miss Yun Lee's contestant information was registered for the war dance a long time ago. However, as a last minute entry, the Skyfaring Commission has taken care of the necessary procedures for you, Miss March 7th. Please, follow this path. The contestant hall is just up ahead. Thank you, Miss Chikwe. Hold on, oh. I saw it. Let's take a look around the contestant hall. I saw a chest. Is this a new area I'm exploring? Or is this part just a... <gasps> it is. Oh. Okay. It looks like I'm just exploring around this place. So. <laughs> this is the contestant hall. Oh, there are so many people. March. Before the war dance begins, allow me to give you one more lesson. And My that grandfather is... always told me that a weapon mimics its master. That means that a person's weapon will reflect their habits and personality. You've seen me wield old metal before, haven't you? Tell me, what did you observe from that? Hmm. Uh. Um. The top one sounds right. I don't know about those two. The master you think is very strong as for this button being small compared to me. Master Yun Lee's old metal is taller than a person. Being able to wield a weapon like that must mean that you have ridiculous strength, right? Observing the weapon that your opponent uses, assessing what kind of battle skills they excel at, and where their weaknesses lie, is the key to victory in battle. A shockingly heavy sword like mine, for example, is obviously not suited for a long, drawn-out battle. So, it would be best to find a way to drag the battle out. Why would you tell me your weakness? That's the only way to ensure that we have a fair fight, don't you think? I don't want to see you go and lose to someone else, after all. Now is a perfect opportunity to learn how to evaluate your opponents. Let's use the people here in the contestants' hall to practice. If you know yourself and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred battles. Know myself and know the enemy. Let's see, who should I ask first? Am I gonna talk to people? Oh my god, yes we are. Uh... Oh, a chest. Um, anyways. Uh... Let's talk to your beautiful... That's a reporter. Oh my god, what is this? Um, ABC News? Ugh, oh, 
I am not used to wearing clothes like this at all. What do you mean? Is it too sexy? Oh, you're March 7th. The stand-in for Lieutenant Yun Cheng, correct? That's right. And you are? As you can see, I am the journalist entrusted with interviewing contestants on site. I see the Skyfaring Commission has really gone all out as the host. Interesting. That's right. A big event like this just can't go ahead without a few of us running around. <laughs> Since the competition is getting started, could I ask you some questions that are on my mind? Hmm. Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> Great. First, the question that is on everyone's minds. Lieutenant Yenching is not appearing in today's war dance. This is just gossip from unreliable sources, but I hear that Lieutenant Yenching is seriously injured. Is this true? What the fuck? Die! It's not true! What the actual fuck do you mean? Well, then what is the real reason? Uh, um... <laughs> I guess he loses your troubles with this one. No, no comment. Seriously? Um, all right. I understand. So, you yeah, can't say shit about this. Oh, so Once on. the war dance begins, you will be challenged by master swordsmen from many different worlds, Miss March 7th. Are there any that you're looking forward to facing in particular? Um, no. March 7th, you are quite Arab. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Huh? Extremely self-assured. What the hell did you just say to me? I'm gonna... I can slap Thank you. Thank you very much for accepting my interview. Much appreciated. She sounds a little bit of a hotel being a, a, an agent. Oh, right, let's talk to you next. My contestants. <sighs> I came here because I wanted to meet the great Lieutenant Yan Ching I've heard so much about and finally cross blades with him myself. Who would have imagined that he would take a disciple and have her be the ringmaster in his place? This is no more than running away from a fight and is a great dishonor to the Yao Ching. This last minute replacement, March 7th. Who exactly is she? Um, have little subtle weapon. There's something actually aside from the loss on the back. She also carried the election on her hand across If I'd known I could use multiple weapons at once, I'd have brought my bow. Hello, Cut off. miss. Are you here to take part in the Ringmaster's challenge, too? That's right. I'm the March 7th that everyone's been talking about. Oh, shit. Uh, You're March 7th? Don't worry. I'm a newbie swordmaster who's only been practicing the art of swordplay for half a month. March 7th. Standing before you is a seasoned Cloud Knight who has practiced swordsmanship for over 200 years. Tricking the opponent into underestimating me is a valid tactic too, right? Yeah? <laughs> I'm just smiling, like, ah, 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 just what do you do? Ha <laughs> Now I'm gonna talk to this thing right here. I mean. Mm. <clears throat> uh, was there. Something you wanted to ask me? You sound bored. What? What? This is this little soldier. What you? This is do anyways. Ah yes. Yeah. This is just a regular Cloud Knight Devastator Glaive. Oh, I understand what's going on, Miss March Seventh and Miss Yun Li. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not a contestant. I'm just here as a security guard. Yeah. See, what we're talking. Um. Uh, so this was a little bit awkward. Oh, it's all right. I can't bear to watch other people make things awkward, so I always try to keep the conversation going. But then I'm the one who ends up making things awkward. I've gotten used to it by now, so don't worry. There are still many guests arriving here. Please be cautious. Understood. Okay. The first round of the war dance is about to begin. Are you feeling okay, March? Me? I see some food. I don't want to see them. I'm fine. As soon as I saw all these people gathered here, I suddenly felt weirdly relaxed. Hmm. Uh, these could all seem very reliable. Looking at these contestants, I suddenly feel a lot calmer for some reason. I understand why you wanted me to... Know myself and know my enemy. 
I don't feel as nervous as I did before. So? Do you want to go out and see the ring? Hmm. I want to keep up with my opponents. Very well. Go and get your intel. Hold on, can I look around? <gasps> I could talk around more people I wanted to. Okay. I do see some more food. Oh my god, is this a popcorn? And what is that? Some sort of burger? It is. <laughs> if that's I mean I think you can make an actual food. If this is the food you can actually make, I would eat it. Is that sweet? Oh ho ho ho, I would eat some of that if I could. Yeah. Let's move that. Uh, huh? What about What? Um anyways, head continue to play the whole other channel of the continuous one? Other contestants. So I just sit there? Okay. Maybe it's because you spent so much time with Kalis and much of others in the beach bench. But much of isn't Kalis and his domestic isn't that bad. I mean, if there's anything you want to ask, hurry up and much of will come back. I'm asking this spot. Uh, do any skilled competitors show up? Your bench will be silent. Hey, what is the person believe for figure figured? Cleaning the old room now, so I can the lawful. The first case has much of. Back. Did we had a drop of sweat? That's enough knowing the enemy for now. Come on, I want to see what the ring looks like. I just talked to a bench like for nothing. That's hilarious. Wait a minute, never mind. Oh, ditting? But that's a dog. <laughs> that's literally a dog. What are you doing, uh, much? You're even asking dating? Uh, <laughs> Looks like she's done with her questions. That's enough knowing the enemy for now. Come on, I want to see what the ring looks like. But I was talking about the witness. Uh, okay, fine, I'll go back. <laughs> that was pretty weird. I just did it. Um, okay, anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and just head upstairs to the wing. Go to the poison audience seat. All right, we're going to see how the wing looks like. What does it look like? What? That's what it looks like. What? Walk through here. We'll be able to see the War Dance's official venue. I was walking. Anyways, um, now you're done talking. Are those my fans? Not a lot, but that's okay. Wow, so this is what it's like from the spectator seat? Look over there. That's the ring we'll be standing on. Master Yun Li, I. I'm getting nervous again. Can I really do this? I will give you a hug if you need one. Well, it's too late for nerves now. It's almost time. Almost time for what? <gasps> is that the Undertaker? As soon as I think I'm about the mission not. General Huayan gave me, oh, my heart starts racing like crazy. What do I do, Master Yun Li? I'll give you a hug, okay? Just it's come here. It's when it stops beating that we need to worry. <laughs> Just... Take in the atmosphere and prepare yourself. I have to leave for a moment and do some inspections around the ship. This was also part of Grandpa's orders. I wonder how Master Yan Ching is doing over there. Hey, focus. Doing stuff with me. Okay. Like boys? General, report. The teams are in position, and the Skyfaring Commission has taken control of the Starskiff lanes. Activate all side cranes and have them scan everyone coming in and out of the port. Remain vigilant at all times. Any suspicious movements must be suppressed as quickly as possible before the situation gets out of hand. Yes, General. Like, a white boys? You two, follow me. Two boys following the Foxian lady. What's well, a signals nearby, but we lost contact just a moment ago. I got a new music that okay. That mean. You will be fine. Cloud Knights, search for the target. Look around. Like that one? Does on the ground? <gasps> oh, okay. <sighs> it's Moss. All of you, get out of my way. It's Moss. Wait. Don't go any closer. General. I failed you. That mad dog left me here as... A declaration of war. That's right. I've been holding back the urge to slit his throat all this time. 
Well, Lord Hule ordered us to remain here just to see if you, the great Merlin's claw, mortal enemy of the forest, are able there you to go. Join show yourself a little hunting game. Hunting is not a game. It is a battle of life and death. Are you ready for your death? Abomination? Oh boy, watch me one shot you. We'll pee off fast. No. Save your breath. Shut up. Ouch. What do you mean? You're dead, dude. Like that one. Get what I say? Get her Robin. She's too busy singing. You're the last Foxian, I mean, wolf pack that I gotta fucking deal with. One shot it. Thank you, Firefly. Fire, Firefly lived. Wowza. Are you okay? I wasn't able to save Zhao Chao. Hule was more cunning and powerful than I imagined. Tell me, how is he planning to declare this war against me? With a one-on-one -on -one duel? Or with a hostage exchange, maybe? Hule is planning on attacking the bustling streets of the Xianzhou Lawfu. What did you just say? Impossible! Even if there is still undercover Borison that we haven't sniffed out, Hule can't have more than a few dozen people. How is he planning on simultaneously attacking the streets of the Sienjo Lafu? He has an ace up his sleeve. Hule's body holds a plague mark passed down through generations of Borison. I've seen him convert a Foxy into a Borison wolf trooper with my own eyes. This is Hule's declaration of war. His blood. It can cause Foxians to rapidly transform and lose their minds. He has passed his blood to his minions, and is planning to spread it across the Law Fu and stir up panic. Mm. Mm. Uh, ex exactly all the Foxians immediately. Contact the Skyfaring Commission and the Cloud Knights right away. Have them enforce a traffic ban and order all Foxians to remain indoors until further notice. The moment you see your enemy's declaration of war, it means that they have already begun to take action. But... If Hule succeeds in getting this panic to spread... But shut the fuck up, boy! Do you remember what I told you before? Hunting is about thinking the same way as your prey, not just mindlessly chasing after them. What Hule wants is to see everyone on the Lawfu descend into panic. He wants to see us lose our minds and waste our limited manpower scouring every inch of the Lawfu for signs of an attack until we exhaust ourselves. It's like that party game that the people of the Yaoqing love to play. They had an object under one of several bowls, then move the bowls around and have you guess which one the object is underneath. The way I see it, this is all nothing more than misdirection. <sighs> no matter what Hule does, there is one truth that cannot be changed. He is trapped aboard the Sienjo Lawfu. The only way for him to escape is to find a ship. Hmm. And the only ship he is able to see is... Right now... The only ship he'd be able to see is the Sky Splitter. In his eyes, that ship is full of countless hostages. That would be the best place for him to go. So, that will also be our final battlefield. But if we're wrong about this, if he goes somewhere else, or if he does as he said he would, and his minions infect the Foxians everywhere with wolf blood, what do we do then? Are we just supposed to abandon those less likely locations? This is another lesson that you must learn outside of swordplay. Weighing your options and making a decision. There are always questions that we will ask ourselves, but never be able to answer. Before making a decision, we must destroy any hesitation that we are holding on to. Once we make a decision, we must fight off any regrets. There is a chance that we will make the wrong decision and allow our allies to be sacrificed in vain. There is a chance that we will predict our enemy's movements correctly, get underestimate their strength, and be overwhelmed in battle. But being lost in hesitation and failing to take any action will always be more harmful than taking the wrong path. We must make a decision, no matter what. Everyone, listen up. I will personally take charge of Starskiff Haven, evacuate the people, and prepare for any possible attacks. 
I will do my best to ensure that things are safe on the ground. Nameless, please lend us your strength as you did when the Ambrosial Arbor was reborn. I need you and Wild Zed to go in search of Zhao Cho. Leave it to me. General, please entrust me with the safety of the Sky Splitter. I was originally meant to participate in the tournament, so now it is only right that I return to the Sky Splitter. Kool-Aid does come to attack the Sky Splitter. Lieutenant Yang Ching, I need you to hold him there until I am able to arrive. Please rest assured, General. If he dares step foot on the Sky Splitter, I, Yan Ching, swear on the blade in my hands that he shall not escape. I was like, damn, bleeding as hell. As a Cloud Knight stealth of his location. Hey, we don't think serious. Cloud Knights, the Borsin have arrogantly decided to challenge us on Xianzhou territory. They vow that they will unleash a bloodbath along the streets of the Xianzhou. The unarmed civilians of the Xianzhou and countless visitors from afar are under our protection. Let me ask you, as Cloud Knights, will we allow the Borsin to succeed with their plans? Fuck no! That's why. Be on your guard. Calling Starskip Haven. Have all Cloud Knights be on full alert for Borsin attacks. Hey, Shell. The ports of Starskip Haven are crawling with wolf-like creatures. They're moving fast. Hold them back. I will be there immediately. Uh-oh, you better one. Uh, but no much. Oh, we're getting started already. Woo! Give me a Oh my god, ouch! He's stabbing through the stomach. Damn! Oh my god, they bounce in the cutscene. After fishing is a technique to cancel the movement speed tools and we will play a long time to travel. The boy is to pull the high dodge upon entering battle. There Ooh. you are, Faisha. Madam Yukong. After 30 years, we find ourselves fighting side by side once uh, more. Should I just heal first? It's been a while since I've left this. Let's bitch. get this started. Da, 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 Remember, da, 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 you are still da, on the long Oh my god, look at this. Why not to go too wide? Hehehehe. Hehehehe. wait a bit. I can just go like center though? Is that enough? Hold up, look around. Okay, that's number seven. Hey, your boy's good! So what are you doing, madam? Oh, I gotta do it again. Let's see. Ah, boom! Ah, that's a lot, god damn. That's one. And then is that two? That's two. And then oh god, what? Oh, that works. Three. And then that's four. Damn. Next, five. And then six. And then last. She is dangerously strong. Holy shit. A short respite, then time for the next fight. How are you okay with all that? Damn! Okay. Oh my god, back to Yukon. We have cleared Yo. out the enemies in Starskip Haven. In one easy sweep! But it seems that there are fierce battles being waged at both the Exalting Sanctum and Arum Alley. I will prepare a Starskip. We cannot allow the fighting to continue. This is now a race against time to stop this farce that Hule has created. I know Zhao Cho always wants me to know my limits and not get carried away, but... Now is the time to bring this to a swift end. Contact the Exalting Sanctum. Tell them if they see a light in the sky, all units are to retreat immediately! Uh-oh. Madam Yukong, lend me your bow! Is she flying up there? Healing. What's she doing? Whoa! We could witness this. Huh. Hey! Everyone, out of the way! Uh oh! Oh shit! She just murdered with a bow. So sh she could have been both. Uh oh, wash your wash your chest. What's going on with her body? Oh, that's why she's getting she's sick. At the same time, she has an illness. Forgot about that. 
Should be oh, fine. What a mess. I just knew it would end up this way. Every time she hits the battlefield, she makes a mess like this. She didn't even leave a single survivor to get intel from. One of these men must have known about Hule and Zhao Cho's whereabouts. Uh, is Zhao Cho still alive? He has to be. A retainer like myself is nothing more than an insignificant shadow who stands by the general's side. But Zhao Cho is different. Without his careful treatment, the general wouldn't even be here today. Hopefully, he can use that silver tongue of his to buy himself enough time. Take a good look around. If you can find one or two Borisin that aren't dead yet, let me know. I don't care how tight their lips are sealed. I always have a way to crack them open and get the information we need. Okay. So look around. Hello? Are you dead? And this one dead. Okay, that one is that one is yeah, you two stay over there. Um Hello? You're dead? You're alive? Oh who's that? Who's what that? a terrifying attack. Hey, what's still breathing? <laughs> Super kick his brains! Or oh, sweet chain music like hey you bitch! Who could have imagined <laughs> that such astonishing strength would lie in the hands of a foxy and war slave? Are you actually going to go to the bed? Are you actually going to go to the bed? So decisive. You're so laggy. So brutal. You're bugging the hell out of She is more like a descendant of Duran than we who no, have no, fallen no, no, no. to our current state. No wonder the warhead has his eyes on her. <laughs> the fact is to draw breathing out in an attack like that. I remember you, Mock Talk. Uh, is it like you are harder to kill than a cockroach. But the fact that you have willingly shown yourself saves us some time. It is not too late for you to surrender. Tell me, where are Hule and Zhao Cho? <laughs> Save your energy, Yao Ching monkey. There is one principle that we beasts know well. It is that we might have to break off an arm to break free from a cage. Today, I will be that arm. I lived as a hunter for many years. Yet I have only followed the warhead for this recent brief period. However, his existence has brought light back to our once blind eyes. Like the moon of Verdantia. He has shown me the way. The descendants of Duran have abandoned the Wolf's Creed. In order to ensure our survival, we took solace in the shadows and fed on one another. We were no longer wolves. We were no more than rats, living a dirty and pathetic life. Thanks to the gift granted to us by Lord Hule, I have shared his vision and his blood. The descendants of Duran should live for the victory of the pack, and they should die for it as well. Come! The Ao Ching man. Show me your fangs. We will fight to the death. Oh my god. How honorable. You mangy dog. But you seem to have misunderstood. There will be no fair one on one duel. Let's see how tough you are once we've put you down. Uh, you've been done a few seconds. Just watch. Why is it more than one? In my veins. You're gonna be kissing my ass right now. Morris and resurgence? Resurgence? You think you can still pillage and murder freely as you did a thousand years before? We're sure that this is nothing more than your dying fantasy. 
Okay, anyways. What if I just kill him? What happens? I Any difference? Nope, never mind. Hey, dude! You're about to go bye bye! Come on, Firefly. He said, like, You motherfucker! So if you're. What? Me. Like this will send me running. what? The so fuck? No! Look, you killed my- you killed my mama, Kafka, and now you're about to kill a child! He's bleeding to death. Oh, I should've pressed it! Hey, look! I killed- Now he's dead. Hey, your shoes were broken. This is goodbye! You killed my two favorite characters, especially Kafka. Now I'm gonna pick Ash your head. Ash, you're gonna butt. For real. and resurgence. I swear, phase three. I got two of them still alive. Oh, good. No more, please. No matter how heroic your sacrifice, there is no honor in your battles or deaths. It seems that Mock Talk got what he wished for. <sighs> Truly, your declaration of war is over. From now on, no matter where you run, General Faishal will catch you and send you to the same fate as Mock Talk. <laughs> oh, your tongue is sharper than your claws. Don't stand in my way, child. Have your general speak with me. Our little hunting game. It's not over yet. Like, I don't give a fuck. Stand down, Watsa. I am here, Hule. What do you wish to say? Like, give me your pussy, woman. Like, huh? You want to what? Though we have never met on the battlefield, I have heard many interesting things about you. From both my men and your healer. The people of the Simjo must be quite brave to allow a foxy and war slave with boars and blood what? to ascend to the position of general. Has no one ever questioned that lineage of yours? Or could it be that your grand achievements were enough to convince everyone to Whoa. keep their lips sealed? Claiming to have family ties with the enemy sounds to me like an attempt at asking for mercy. Hule, are you begging me for mercy? I see that it is oh, not only man. the ruthless blood oh, of a wolf that courses thing. through your veins, but also the cunning blood of a fox. When you think about it, this was a gift yes. from the Borson. Anything that we gift, we are also free to reclaim the Merlin's Claw. I shall extend a final invitation to you. I will be waiting for you on the Sky Splitter. Before you arrive, I will slaughter all in sight, allowing the crimson moon that has fallen dim for over 700 years what? to once more come to life. I will illuminate this ship with the sheen of blood and show like everyone just how weak and powerless the Xiang Chu is. Then I will pilot this ship through every blockade and barrier you have prepared and begin my journey home. This ship shall be the flagship for the Boris and Resurgence! Before I finish these tasks of mine, you have a chance to stop me or die at my hands. <laughs> this is the path that I have prepared for you. I accept your challenge, Hule. Because the very moment you stepped aboard the Sky Splitter, you stepped onto your path to ruin. Oh boy, the world is about to commence. Sky Splitter. Wait, no! In a time like this! 
I'm entrusting you not only with the honor of the ring, but also with the security of the Sky Splitter. That's easy for my grandfather to say. But this mission doesn't seem so simple anymore. The first round of the tournament is about to begin. I wonder how Yen Qing and the others are doing. That's According to the said. plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if they've discovered anything. Yeah, Maybe but... Maybe take a moment to meet with March before the tournament starts. Hold up, I'm just gonna... March is in the contestants' lounge stop? right now. Oh, I wonder how her preparations are coming along. I am actually gonna stop it there. Oh, but I'm gonna do there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you there. Sayonara.